I'm glad you're back. Welcome to Theme Parks of Gogo. We'll see you in a bit. Uh, David Charvet. Hi, I'm Ricky Paul Golden. Sorry, buddy. You okay? Yeah. We're just back from Thunder Mountain. If you like to scream on rides, check this out. You okay, buddy? It may be the need for speed or the desire to be scared out of our minds that keeps us coming back for more. So sit down and hold tight, because we're going to take you on a twisting, turning, white-knuckle ride aboard some of America's most spectacular roller coasters. Since the turn of the century, adults and children alike have wanted the same thing from their roller coasters, hair-raising thrills. The grandfather of them all, the Coney Island Cyclone, uh, they didn't have much space on the beach to build it, so they built it within itself and you twist in and out of yourself, and it's still got some of the greatest turns. some pretty good turns on one of Ohio's favorite scream machines, the Beast. This record-setting coaster at Kings Island, outside Cincinnati, challenges all comers. As far as my dollar is concerned, probably the best wooden roller coaster ever built. Uh, it's also the longest ride uh, anywhere in North America, a little over four minutes. say everything is bigger and better in their state and roller coasters are no exception that includes the texas giant at six flags over texas if you like speed fast turns if you like smooth corners if you like rough dips uh the texas giant basically has it all for you <laughs> the wooden roller coaster has given riders rip-roaring adventure for a hundred years but the newest rage in thrill machines is the inverted roller coaster, like this fearsome specimen, the Raptor at Cedar Point. What that means is inverted, you hang below the track, you sit in like a ski lift chair, and your feet kind of dangle below you. And as you take off, the floor drops out, your feet dangle, and you go through all kinds of corkscrews, all the various elements, including the loops with your feet dangling. If dangling your feet at 60 miles an hour isn't your speed, then you may want to tuck your toes into the Steel Phantom at Kennywood Park in Pennsylvania. The Steel Phantom at Kennywood is an awesome piece of speed. I mean, you go up that first hill, and usually at the dip at the end of the first hill, that's where the strongest piece of excitement comes on a steel coaster. But then you go up to the second hill, and that's where the long, long drop, it's, two, it's over 220 feet drop, and what you feel is total exhilaration when you hit the bottom of that hill. Long drops and high speeds also make hearts pound on Cedar Point's 72 mile an hour, 205 foot high Magnum XL 200. It's a fantastic steel coaster and it's first of the uh, mega coasters in the United States as far as height and it's a very, very strong, powerful roller coaster. No loops, no cute elements, just, uh, just flat out uh, thrill ride. Need more thrills? Then go west to Buffalo Bill's Casino in State Line, Nevada for Desperado, the fastest, highest roller coaster in the world. 
one unique thing about the Desperado, other than it being so tall and so, so powerful and fun, is the fact that you load actually in the casino. Whether you're upside down or right side up, child or adult, the reason we ride remains the same. Thrill. There's no slowing down when E's look at America's most thrilling theme parks continues. Do you recognize this voice from far atop Magic Mountain's Viper? Jesus! Look at that! We'll show you who's screaming for help when theme parks a go-go return. And speaking of screaming... <laughs> Siren and Hawk are still hanging tough, but one gladiator's going to give in sooner or later. Okay. 